Goombas! Goombas! Whatever those things are! Aww. We will destroy the Mushroom Kingdom! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times the critics were wrong about movies. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh, your opinion, man. For this list, we're looking at the most significant times that reviews missed the mark for an otherwise popular and or classic film. Did we forget a movie that was unfairly judged? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Super Mario Brothers Movie Geared towards kids, this animated adventure is only interested in giving viewers a good time. You'll be hooked on the brothers! Ah! Thank you, Super Mario Bros. It seems like the only thing you haven't drained is my bank account. Critics were left unsatisfied by its rudimentary story, and it's only fair to assume that a sequel will flesh out much more. Some reviews didn't find much to latch onto in any meaningful way beyond advertising for Nintendo. Oh wow, love these pipes. Ah! 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 While it's not necessary to have played the games before watching, it does help to bring some knowledge about the series to enjoy some Easter eggs. There's also an argument to be made that it's too sweet for its own good. One thing is for sure though, the film is a runaway success that's connected with viewers and generated positive audience scores. Number 9. MacGruber Based on a recurring sketch from Saturday Night Live, this outrageous comedy is anything but subtle. It's about a promise I made to myself. Listen to me, man. No, you listen! I'm out of the game. Well, the game has changed. But the players are the same. MacGruber did not make many best of lists in 2010, as critics thought that the jokes missed the mark. The action parody does feature a comedic voice that will be off-putting to some people. Come on, MacGruber, it's, um, it's not so bad. Oh, it's not. The man who killed my wife is in control of a nuclear warhead, and I can't do a goddamn thing about it, and it's not so bad! Will Forte's dedicated performance in a MacGyver homage gradually earned a cult following in the decades since. Some of the film's fans include acclaimed directors such as Christopher Nolan, who shamelessly loves the over-the-top adventure. Everybody knows that rats like cheese, and you, Vicky, are the cheese. But you're the one he wants to come after. Why can't you be dressed like you? Because! You are. The groundswell of support will only grow as people come around to its unique charms. Number 8. The Rocky Horror Picture Show Let's do the time warp back to an era when this wasn't a classic musical. Let's do the time warp again. Let's do the time warp again. In its release year, the Rocky Horror Picture Show did not inspire confidence in critics. The concept was considered a forgettable piece of genre exploitation. They didn't consider that the movie would find a devoted fan base, failing to realize its potential life in revival houses as a midnight movie. Let's get out of here. For God's sake, keep a grip on yourself, Janet. But it's, it seems so unhealthy here. It's just a party, Janet. Well, I want to go. Well, we can't go anywhere till I get to a phone. Over the next several decades, the film became one of the most unexpected and successful stories in theatrical history. Audiences still show up to screenings dressed as their favorite characters as they sing along with Dr. Frankenfurter. Let me show you a rhyme, maybe play you a sign. You look black, you both pretty groovy. Become a Watch Mojo channel member and get exclusive perks like Mojo emojis, loyalty badges, priority comment replies, and exclusive members only content, including live list rankings with the Mojo staff and peaks behind the scenes. Don't miss out! Number 7. The Thing Representing one of John Carpenter's strongest visions as a director, The Thing is easily one of the best efforts of the 1980s. I don't know what the hell's in there. It's weird and pissed off, whatever it is. You would not know that from reading about the first reactions to the film. Rather than appreciating it as a suspenseful ride, critics weren't entirely ready for its deliberate pace or gory effects. I don't know what you're saying. That was one of those things out there, trying to imitate him, Gary. Come on. It opened around the release of Juggernaut E.T. and had an uphill battle to capture audiences during its initial release. Carpenter felt the release was a misstep that marked a dark chapter in his career. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. 
They could be anybody's. Nobody... Nobody trusts anybody now. Little did he realize that people would come around. The movie about a mysterious host terrorizing a research base now ranks highly among horror fans. Number 6. The Big Lebowski By the mid-1990s, the Coen brothers had become a critical darling with their own unique brand of dark comedies and period films. Sometimes there's a man, well, uh, he's the man for his time and place. He fits right in there. And that's the dude in Los Angeles. People weren't quite ready for their follow-up to the Oscar winner Fargo. Receiving a subdued response from critics and limited commercial success, The Big Lebowski confused audiences with its laid-back style and confusing plot. Wait, wait let, me, let me explain something to you. Um, I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Few people realized that the movie was more about the characters like the dude and Walter than the ridiculous story. The years have been kind to this comedy, with a rabid fan base developing around its quotable lines. Here you go, Larry. You see what happens? You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens? Putting other movies to shame, it has since spawned its own festival, and even a religion called dudism. Number 5. Joker Taking a dark look at the comic book villain, Todd Phillips' Joker gave the character a volatile origin story. Reviews were divided between praising the deliberate tone and feeling that it was just a pastiche of Martin Scorsese's work. So, so I know you're a comedian. You've been working on any new material. You want to tell us a joke? A vocal minority of critics felt that the subject matter could even inspire a violent attack pointing out the apparent parallels between Arthur Fleck and the incel community. This division couldn't stop the drama from becoming a pop culture giant. Despite some bad press, the film went on to become one of the most profitable R-rated releases ever. Joaquin Phoenix went on to win the Oscar for his performance, and the movie's success inspired a sequel. Number 4. 2001 – A Space Odyssey Considered a milestone in sci-fi filmmaking, 2001 – A Space Odyssey boggles the mind to this day. The film came out in 1968, stunning viewers with its innovative visuals and big ideas. It provides challenging questions about concepts such as artificial intelligence. Not all critics felt it was worth the hype, however, with some feeling that the experience was too slow for its own good. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. The movie even had people walking out during early screenings. Audiences didn't pay attention to these early reactions, instead flocking in droves to see the cerebral space adventure. Stanley Kubrick's vision of the future is now known as a juggernaut in its respective genre. Number 3. Psycho Alfred Hitchcock's slasher picture inspired a legion of movies with its striking images. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to sound uncaring. What do you know about caring? Some critics didn't recognize its power, believing it was a step back for the director and a lackluster B-movie. Others objected to its content, with some censors hoping to cut down the film's graphic subject matter. With some slick advertising, Hitchcock's production lured audiences into a memorable experience full of violent surprises. It's now considered a massively influential project in terms of its willingness to kill off a major character. The painstaking direction also ranks highly among contemporary critics that recognize the shower scene as the pinnacle of cinematic techniques. Number 2. It's a Wonderful Life this Frank Capra project wasn't always a staple of holiday viewing. Released in the post-World War II era, It's a Wonderful Life was considered a critical and commercial flop. Look, who are you? 
I told you, George, I'm your guardian angel. Yeah, yeah, I know, you told me that. Even the presence of Jimmy Stewart couldn't save this movie at the time. The copyright wasn't renewed, which allowed the film rights to drift into the public domain. You, you, you're, you, you're crazy, that's what I think. You're, you're screwy. You're driving me crazy, too. I'm seeing things here. Television executives were able to show the drama for no extra money as a result. After it reappeared on the small screen, the work slowly built up a following for its heart and inspiring plot. It's now considered one of the most famous Christmas movies ever made. Are you real? <laughs> Oh, just, 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 <laughs> George, you have no idea what's happened to me. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hocus Pocus. Reviews weren't initially impressed with this Halloween film, but now it's a holiday classic. <gasps> Sisters, we have been gone 300 years. Well, Winnie, how time flies, huh? <laughs> when you're dead. <laughs> Venom. Tom Hardy's irreverent turn as the Marvel villain drew critical ire despite massive box office. You, you can take this guy, right? He has got shit you have never seen. What does that mean? What are our chances? Pretty much zero. Jennifer's Body, an underrated horror film that boasts Megan Fox's finest performance. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Besides the obvious surface flaws. Man on Fire. Denzel brings the pain in a stylish revenge film that wins over audiences. What if there was, you know, just say a, a kidnapping attempt, what do I do? Man? You do your best. They're not going to be paying you enough to perform miracles. Babylon. Some call it a chaotic mess, but this wild ride is destined to become a cult classic. We've got to innovate. We've got to inspire. We gotta dream beyond these pesky shells of flesh and bone. Map those dreams onto celluloid and print them into history. Number one, The Shining. Often considered one of the greatest horror films ever, The Shining didn't exactly enter the world as a beloved classic. Hello, Danny. Come play with us. The Stanley Kubrick movie was met with a tepid response at the time, and only modest box office returns. Critics were undecided on Kubrick's cold direction, unsure whether or not the entire production deserved any significant praise. Stay away from me! Why? I just want to go back to my room. Why? I'm very confused. I just... Need a chance to think things over. The most bizarre occurrence from the initial release was the director receiving a Razzie nomination for Worst Director. To top it all off, Stephen King felt largely disappointed by the filmmaker's adaptation. The overall interpretation of the material has changed since 1980. Here's Johnny! <laughs> For the most part, audiences have come to regard this as a masterful genre piece. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.